Ryan Lamb. And folks are starting to mass their chips. As they mass their chips, they need to know how large a chip they have that's going to carry through the chip lab. Because the band students are missing, we have a whole massing station today. So we've taken over lab station five. And we're just making it massing of chips. Uh, we need a beaker. Why is it? You'll notice that other things are getting massed as well. Thomas just massed a beaker. Jake is busy flipping a pen. I'm not sure how that relates to lab. Notice that Taylor is massing an empty beaker while Brian laughs in the background. And then he shoots a basket. That has to do with lab. Notice the goggles that Brian is not wearing. And the goggles that Elena is not wearing. Danny, however, and Ben are both wearing their goggles, which is totally appropriate. Over here, Macy is leading the way with her junior self wearing her goggles. Unlike her lab partners, Madison quickly dons hers. I see that Abby is getting a certain amount of water in her graduate cylinder. Jake continues to flip his pen. Measure the mass of the potato chips. Yeah. Okay. Place that in the heat. Okay, so they're putting their potato chip in the evaporating dish and placing it on the ring stand. Notice that they've checked that ring to make sure the ring is 10 centimeters above the potato chip. Using the graduating cylinder, measure 50 milliliters of water and pour it into the beaker. At this lab group, we have the same thing going on, but they haven't adjusted their ring yet. They're working on their potato chip. And Jake continues to flip his pen. Over at this lab station, they have their potato chip under their ring, and they've measured out their water. At this lab station, they're adjusting their ring to get it a certain distance above their potato chip. Also, notice Maddox is very carefully making sure that he gets an exact amount of water in his graduate cylinder. It's important to know how much water he has in order to carry out the lab. Yeah, we have to no, we have to wait with water. Here. No, that one's broken. Ben has broken. Ben? Why did you get rid of the other one? Yeah. So Marissa and Abby are getting their water. I don't get the light in any it's like we had a spill over in Brian territory. It's a regular occurrence. It happens all the time. Oh, it's not Brian though, right? No, it's Oh. Why can not a zero? Yeah, it's zero. Maddox, what's wrong with the balances? That one is way wrong from zero, and that one will change all the this one's on, Maddox. What? It's just going to be 156.28. Okay. <laughs> Band folks, are you this efficient when you're carrying out lab? 
This is one I have Hundred and sixty proof. It's going to be a Oh, he's got to take his raincoat off. Is it a raincoat? Don't holler at one another. We need to put this. Hey, we need to put this. Whoa, over here we've got action. Yeah. Notice that they have lit their potato chip underneath the beaker. Notice that they have a thermometer in their beaker measuring the temperature of the water. The potato chip is giving off heat to the water. As the potato chip gives off heat to the water, the temperature of the water rises. This lab group is trying to figure out how much energy is released from the potato chip and given to the water. It's a squishy case. It is a squishy case. And here's Micah giving his comments from the side. He's so sad because all the area around him is empty of band students. It looks like Brody is going to have to relight that potato chip. These folks have their lab set up exactly as they're supposed to. They've measured the amount of water that they have. They've measured the initial temperature of their water and they're burning that ship to find out how much energy it gives off. <laughs> nice work, Lab Station 2. Let's look back over here at Lab Station 1. And we get Maddox in the act. Maddox is lighting their chip. I do not see a thermometer in their beaker, so I don't know if they know the initial temperature of their water. Ah, very nice trip, very nice. Let's see how the other lab groups are doing. Wow, back here, Abby's got quite the flame going. I hope that Jake doesn't flip his pen into the flame. Almost did. You can see that this lab group is also measuring the temperature of their water and trying to find out how much energy that potato chip is giving off. Nice job, lab group three. Well, Brian was theorizing that if you lifted it up closer to the water, more of the heat would go into the water. Good theory, Brian. <laughs> Do we have an initial temperature of the water? Yes. 20 degrees Celsius. Okay. Yeah. So here goes Brian, our pyromaniac of the room. Better watch out and see how many matches he uses. Nice job. Now, I don't know how they're going to find out how much the temperature rises because I don't see the thermometer up there. Ah, there we go. I think the direction said to light from the bottom of the chip, and that's one reason it will stay lit if it's lit underneath. So we can try again. Max is becoming a pyro as well. He's joining in on that Brian train. That's a good idea. Just be careful of the glass above. <laughs> Sometimes lighting it can be the biggest challenge. <laughs> That's one thing we've learned is don't blow toward the flame. It might put the other one out. Let's see how Madison's doing over here. Okay. So over here, did these ladies get their chip lit? Have they recorded an initial temperature of their water? Okay. Are they now putting the thermometer in their water so they can measure and see what it rises to? Just one second, I'll look. Very nice, ladies. Very nice. Good, you set it down. It's not allowed to be more than 10 centimeters. Right there, not <laughs> Look at that. Let me see, darling. Yeah. Burns enough, or should we light it again? Um, I would. I would light it. Did your temperature rise at all? Yeah, like two degrees. Let's try one more time. One more time. Ladies, nice work over here. Look at that chip go. Now, my only concern is that looks a little bit more than 10 centimeters how high you have the ring above it. Did you measure it with a ruler and find out?
Whoa, look at that chip burn. Got it. Madison, was that you? Madison, see what they got, team. Look at that. We need that. They know how to light stuff. We need that. Then you're not right. Put the match down. <laughs> what They're temperature are we going to, Jessica? Right now it's only at 20. Yes. But it was at? 18. Okay, so it went up 2 degrees, huh? But do notice, I think your ring's kind of high above. There you go. That's good. Let me try it again. That might be a good idea to lower your ring some. Did you check it and it was 10 centimeters? You would need a new chip, which would mean you need a new mass.